Hey everybody, it's Josh, the service manager at Walnut Ridge. I want to go over something today that, that might happen to those of you who own a coach that has the auto level, but the electric system. Um, this doesn't pertain to the uh, hydraulic system, just the electric system. But I want to show you what to do if you get an error. And the most common error that you'll see is a left front jack. And that's because that's the default. If it senses a problem in the leveling process, it will throw an error into the board to protect the system so it doesn't over crank a jack or something like that. The most common reason is because your sight is too far off level. Um, so you may be more than two degrees one way or another. Uh, the front to rear is not so much an issue, but the side to side that is an issue. And you would have to move the coach, um, maybe move it back, put some boards down, get the tires up on the board so you can get that level or get to a different side if you have one. So. Um, and you may experience this in your driveway. That's where we get most of the phone calls and people don't know what to do with it. So what's gonna happen when you get an error, we're gonna force an error in this because I'm tricking the system, but <clears throat> when we turn this on and then we're gonna hit our auto level and this thing's gonna start moving Watch your head in there. There we go. We got an error already because I've actually disconnected one of the jacks. So you can see that it says the left front which is the most common error. So it, it knows it has a problem and can't auto level. So we have to correct the situation. So what we're gonna have to do is, it's called rehoming the system. And actually Lippert's website, um, which is this system, um, is the, the Lippert Ground Control. They have great videos on there too, and uh, PDF form, you can just read it if you want to, if you can't, uh, if you can't watch the video. But let me hook this jack back up real quick. So you're gonna get this constant beeping out of the panel and it's really annoying. So maybe you're, you're sitting here and you're trying to move the legs and it won't move because when you come in here and you push the button, it'll, it'll move um, the front ones. We'll try and move the rear ones, just barely moving them. Um, sometimes it'll, it'll beep and quit on you and you'll have to keep pushing the button. So it's a real simple process to be able to rehome the system. First thing we have to do is make sure all of the jacks are down at least six inches. So you can see I've already ran the, the rear ones down a little bit. I did it before we set the uh, error code into it, but you can you can do this with it an error code. If they're if they're all the way up and you need to get them ran down a little bit, you can hit the button. Sometimes it might beep and stop running on you. You just have to keep going until you can get it. So it might only run a little bit at a time. Um, another way you can do it is all of these jacks have a manual uh, the availability to, to crank them down manually on the jacks back here It's going to be you're going to take this little cover off and you can get in there and run this jack down the front jacks It's going to be on top um, and, and it's going to be basically the same thing just this part's going to be flipped over So once we have it down six inches like this, we're going to go to our control panel It's a real simple process. And the front jacks have to be down six inches too. A couple disclaimers before you do this. Make sure your truck or nothing is sitting underneath it because we're gonna retract everything. So you wanna make sure there's nothing around that can get damaged. But the simple process for this is, there's a retract button in here. I can see in the dark right up here. You're gonna push and hold until all the jacks start moving. And then you're gonna let off. So what's gonna happen is, all of these jacks are going to raise all the way up into the, the, the highest position they have. The motors are going to start drawing more amperage and it's going to record that through the sensors that are built into this system and that's, it's going to know that that's its limit and that's its home. So you're rehoming the system so that the next time you go to auto level it knows exactly how many strokes to turn to get that jack to go where it needs to go to, to hit level. Once we get it done like that, we're good to go. You can you can hear that there's no more error beeping in there. Now we can proceed with our auto level, which I can't really proceed yet because my uh oh I must not have had him down six inches on the front. So we we're gonna have to redo it. So we will run them back up. Alright, 
right, I got six inches down there. We'll run these rear ones back down six inches. This system's cooperating. It's not shutting off on us uh, while you're trying to run it. Some of them, they'll, they'll cut the jacks out completely. Um, and you'll have to turn it back on, hit the button again. They'll run it for an inch or so, and then it'll cut out on you. I guess I should have looked at the year of this too, the model of this. That's probably where we messed up. Okay, I think we're down far enough. The older ones, if this one's a, this one's a newer one, we shouldn't have to power off. If yours is a Gen 2, you may have to actually power the board off like this. Wait a couple seconds, power back on, still gonna give you the air, and then we're gonna do the press and hold the retract button. <laughs> All of them are running. Plenty of space on the jacks. This should wipe out our, our error problem now. All jacks are up and we're ready. We're error free now. So second attempt did the trick. I didn't have the front ones down far enough. So now we can actually turn this back on. You can see we don't have an error. So I'll run these front ones back up and show you that we can start the auto level process and it's everything is going to be fixed on it. Can't auto level with the front end lower than the rear end on the system. That's something that uh, for, for people to keep in mind too. If you pull it in a campground, you maybe have a down slope camp campsite that didn't take much to get off your truck but the front end's lower than the rear end the auto level won't work it'll actually give you an error because it doesn't have enough room to run the front jacks down to start the auto level so we've got the front end i'm eyeballing higher now we can hit the auto level and you can see no errors it's starting to do its thing takes a few minutes, but we, we fixed our problems with the, the errors in the jack. There's one other process that I can show you real quick on these jacks that you may need to do. Sometimes the factory doesn't get them perfect. Um, we try and calibrate them here, but you might notice when you're camping that you're in there maybe cooking eggs on your stove or something and you notice your eggs run to one side of the pan every time, even though you've hit the auto level. So we know that that stove isn't perfectly level, so the camper might be off somewhere, the, how the stove was installed might be slightly off. Um, so you might want it to where your countertops are level. Uh, and, and so you can manually do that with this. There's instructions on how to do it manually, but you would just old fashioned way, take a bubble level, set it in where you want it, come out here and run each jack to get it to that position. And then there's a way you can recalibrate the system pretty easily um, to where it'll always go to that spot whenever it, it levels. And then, so the next time you can't, you'd be good to go to cook, or the most important thing is making sure we're pretty close to level for your refrigerator to run, so we don't create a blockage in it if it gets too hot by sitting off level when that ammonia's trying to run through. So, we're almost done auto leveling. I'll show you how to recalibrate. Now let's say, no, I'm gonna turn that off. I'll show you, you're gonna be in there in just a second. But so let's say now we've auto leveled. We got it where we want it. We wanna recalibrate this system. It's really easy. With the system off, like we have it now, all you're gonna do, hit this front button 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit the rear button 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there you go. Gotta do it really fast. So I, I waited too long before hitting the rear button. It won't let you get, or the, yeah, rear button. It won't let you get through 10 times on the rear button. If you do 10 times on the front, you'll get about five on the rear as long as you do it fast enough. And then what it'll do, it says, press enter to set zero calibration point. So I'm gonna say, yes, this is, this is where we want it. Now, where we're sitting is where it's gonna go to when you hit auto left. So that's how you can recalibrate it if you need to, if you find out that it's just not quite perfect for you. That's it. Hope uh, hope this helped you.